ladies and gentlemen, uh, from the Mac Observer of the online magazine, here's Jeff Gamet. Hey everyone, my name is Jeff Gamet, and I am a super smeller. And what that means is that I have a hypersensitive sense of smell. Now what that means is that a lot of the scents and aromas that other people may miss are like smell concentrate to me. And what that means is that perfume is my kryptonite. Now we don't exactly know what it is that makes people super smellers, but I've seen speculation that says maybe the veloma something or another cavity in the back of our nose, which is dormant in humans, is active in people like me. Okay, great. But some pregnant women actually say that they become super smellers and the, the sensation lasts through pregnancy, through birth, and then eventually fades away. All right, and then there's other people that are multiple sclerosis patients or Lyme disease patients, and they report that they too have developed a super sense of smell. Now, some people think that this is like a disease or some disorder that has to be treated. And there are actually some people that will go so far as to use things like homeopathic remedies as a way to try and permanently deaden their sense of smell so that they can feel like they have some kind of normal life. Now, how much of an issue is this for some people? Well, like for me, if you have food that's spoiled and it's in your refrigerator and I open the door, it's gonna be like this monster rushing out and assaulting all of my senses. And I actually can't go down the laundry detergent aisle at the grocery store. The smell of the perfumes and other whatever things that they put into the laundry detergent smells so bad to me that I actually can't breathe. And I have to find someone that can go down the aisle and get my laundry detergent for me, which takes us back to my kryptonite. I don't care if you call it perfume. I don't care if you call it cologne. If you're a man or if you're a woman, if you're wearing it, it's like a poison to me. It burns my eyes, it burns my throat, and it feels like a spike going right through my head. And I've had some people ask me, what exactly does perfume smell like to you? Well, to me, it's like breathing a mixture of kerosene, barbed wire, and gravel all mixed together. And if it's like a sweet perfume, add in the sensation of breathing in granulated dish soap. Yeah. Now, if you invite me to a meeting and, and I show up and you're wearing perfume, I'm going to try and find a way to be able to avoid going into your meeting. If I'm already there and you show up with perfume, I'm going to try and find a way to get out of the meeting right away because I really like to breathe. Now, if you come into a coffee shop and I'm there and you're wearing perfume, I may have to put a napkin over my nose so that I can breathe a little easier. If it's heavy perfume, well, then I'm probably going to have to drop my drink and run out of the store just so that I can catch my breath. I've also had to leave grocery stores because people's perfume is so bad. I'll end up having to ditch my, my grocery cart in an aisle, head out into the parking lot, wait for the people to leave, and then I can go back in and finish my shopping. Now, I've also had some people say, well, what about if you're outside? It really shouldn't matter, right? Okay, well, let me put it this way. Which is better for you? If I pee on your leg indoors or if I pee on your leg outdoors? <laughs> now, if you're a smoker and you're in your car, I'll be able to smell you smoking in your car with your windows rolled up while I'm in my car with my windows rolled up. But being a super smeller, it's, it's not all about the bad smells and trying to avoid things. For instance, flowers can smell absolutely amazing. And going into an Indian grocery store, that's like a carnival happening in my nose. And the, and the smell of sunshine coming off of people is just fantastic. Also, if we happen to be at, uh, at a party together and you're drinking a bad beer, and I don't mean like Kurz or Budweiser, I mean like a beer that's actually spoiled and gone bad, I'll probably be able to smell that and I'll let you know so that you don't get sick. And what I really like to have is a spacesuit because then I can put that on and I can go anywhere, anytime, and I don't have to worry about the problems that come up for me because people are wearing perfume. And really, there's, with perfume, it's not all bad. There is a time and a place. And what I mean is for those intimate occasions, and by that I mean you and that special someone or someones behind closed doors, you know, doing whatever it is that makes you feel really good. So, here's my deal for you. And, and, and I'm making this proposal not just for me, but for all of the super smellers out there. Please, please don't wear your perfume in public. 
And what I promise in, in return is that I'm not going to stand beside you in a coffee shop wearing nothing but naughty elephant underpants. Thank you very much. I'm Jeff Gamut.